We brought you details of Mayor India Kincannon's proposed city budget last week, which includes stipend increases for Knoxville Fire Department EMTs. However, some firefighters not satisfied and say it will take more to keep employees. Six on your side reporter Ella Wales joins us now live to tell us about their concerns. Ella. Bo, Lori, Knoxville Mayor Indian King Cannon's budget proposes $3.9 million for police pay raises. That's to fight competing salaries from neighboring departments. This is a problem that firefighters say they're facing as well. I think that's a great start, but it's a long way from where we should be. Mayor India King Cannon proposed increased stipends for fire department EMTs and paramedics. But Knoxville Firefighter Association President Larry McAfee says it's not enough to keep employees. By the end of 2026, we have 29% of our workforce that can retire. We're talking 95 individuals that can lead the department. I don't know if you're aware, but it takes three individuals to run a, a fire engine on a typical day. So we're talking 31 engines plus a specialty truck of people who can just leave. That's an entire shift. So we need to do everything we can to try to retain those individuals. The mayor responded in a statement saying, quote, we passed a budget in 2022 that included historic raises for KFD employees. She went on to say Chief Sharp and Larry McAfee pushed hard to implement those raises all in one year to make sure we could attract and retain the best. I agreed to do it all at once, and those raises have helped keep KFD well-staffed ever since, end quote. The Knoxville Police Department will receive $3.9 million in raises under the mayor's budget. And um, like the police show, they have a need for uh, hiring and retention. We also have those same needs. So um, it is a little unusual for the gap to be so great. Um, we're talking 10%, less than 10% of what KPD received is what the fire department is getting. That's well, disappointing, but hopefully we can work with the mayor to improve it. Kincannon's statement went on to say, quote, the good news is that right now we are nearly fully staffed at KFD. By contrast, KPD is at dangerously low staffing levels and nearly 70 officers could retire at any time, end quote. The budget also includes $1.8 million for fire department equipment and training. McAfee plans to speak to the mayor at tonight's city council meeting where the first reading of the budget will take place. We're going to have a live look into that meeting coming up at 6. But for now, in Knoxville, Ella Wales, WATE, 6 on your side. All right, thank you. And there will be a few more items from the budget city council members will be looking at tonight. The mayor asking for the starting pay for Knoxville police officers to go up to $56,000 a year, and it would boost pay for existing officers. In her State of the City address, she also spoke about several projects to bring more housing and public spaces to the region. City council will have its first hearing tonight at 6. The next fiscal year for the city officially begins July 1st.